Hello, this is Chad. Today I thought I would do a quick video on showing you how to use home automation on the Google Home Hub. Let's get started. To start, you can either swipe down on the Google Home Hub or you can use a voice command. Um, let's show you the touch screen first. So I just clicked on lights and it's bringing up my lights. So from here, I can go and select. Now these are set up in groups. You would do that in the Google Home Hub app or in the Google Home app, I mean. And I can click on my outside lights. Now these are all hue lights, so I can I can change the brightness, I can turn them all on or off, I can change the color, uh, all kinds of colors. Uh, I can select each light individually and turn it on and off and select uh, how bright it is. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, so just some of the manual lights that I have, I can select those and now this is coming through smart things and I can turn them on and off I can select the brightness it only gives you a few seconds to hit something so um, here's something that I like doing so I haven't really set this all up for uh, the Google Home Hub I've set it more up for using like a a Google Home Mini or just the original Google Home and I can go through so when I'm leaving the house I usually say the command uh, turn off going away but I use the command to get it to start and uh, which is hey you know <laughs> I don't want to say it else it'll bring everything up and so it goes through and it'll shut off all my devices in my house when I'm leaving and I like that because I like to conserve as much energy as I can so also we can go through and we can click on thermostats and uh, so this is bringing in uh, my thermostat thermostat twice through smart things and through the nest um, which i'll have to play around with anyways you can change uh, the temperature by scrolling through this you can change the mode that it's in from heat cool and uh, eco now this is with the the nest thermostat and so that's kind of cool. You can go through and select cameras. Now I only have my Nest Hello hooked up right now. So with this, so I'll, I'll hook up others, but as you can see, it brings up my Nest Hello. And uh, you can go in and select rooms and you can off to the side, it shows different rooms and what's in it. My backyard lights I can click on that turn on and off different things um, uh, let me so anyway this is my exercise room and and right now it is turned off so we're gonna turn it on and um, I'll turn it off if anybody's in there I wonder what's going on um, but anyways, it's kind of neat. You can play around with your stuff. Um, oh, you can also by voice, you can say, Hey Google, are my living room lights on? Seven lights are on. Living room four and the living room ceiling fan are off. Okay. So... You can ask her if things are on and off. And you can also obviously tell her to turn something on. So, uh, hey Google, turn on the office outlet. Sure, turning on the office outlet. 
And once it pops up, I can also turn it off there as well. Um, I think that's about it. I probably haven't done a very good job explaining this, but uh, uh, it's kind of fun to play around with. It's something new and and it's kind of unique and, and uh, you know, um, Anyways, there's a lot more you can do. Someone's at the Nest Hello. Oh, so that's also, if you have a Nest Hello, it'll automatically pop up uh, showing you who's there. Now, it doesn't have two-way audio. I have to go through and hit response and just tell them, you know, one of these responses. I assume in the future they'll have that so it's two-way but right now it's not. If you go through and you just look at the camera, you can hear what's going on outside. Uh, that's my wife grabbing the package. <laughs> Anyways, um, pretty fun to play around with if you have automation or if you're thinking about it. Um, I definitely recommend picking up the Google Home Hub. It's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.